Yes, what's good everybody? So another quick ship vid. Um, Click now has tested negative. So as soon as I uploaded the video yesterday, I was online just searching about like I do. And then it came back saying, no, he's tested negative now. So the first one positive, second one was negative. So now that I've released this, it'll probably be the third one coming back and it's best out of three. I think they're playing rock, paper, scissors with this test. So yeah, so who knows about that? I don't know. Um, what will be will be I don't know so I'll keep you updated on that if anybody is I'll drop it in comments um, maybe a bit of shit talk this but apparently Meslier has been watched by Marseille which does make sense to be fair like I'm not saying that might be true but it, you sort of get or I do I get used to the players and like when they're young lads you assume they're going to be there forever or the longevity but you imagine like a big team like Marseille not that we're not a big team but a team like Marseille getting a French lad young these market value will only grow if he keeps progressing the way he is he might want to be in France ultimately. You know, he's only a young lad. They'd get him a lot cheap now, even though they'd probably pay over odds for him now, currently. They'd, you know, as I say, his market value will only go up if he keeps improving. So, yeah, as I say, you sort of get used to thinking that they'll be there long term and you never know where it lies. I can't see Meslier going, like, you know, unless a, but if a big, or if a Champions League team comes in, I'm reluctant to say a big team, because we are a big team, but. Yeah, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Obviously, I hope we can keep him. I don't think he'll be going anywhere, and I can't see a, a Champions League team coming in. But you, that's what I'm saying. You just never know. I'm going to do a video on like potential ins and outs, You know, like who, who I reckon might be out of the door this year, because we're going to probably get rid of a bit of dead wood, and then there might be a couple of surprises that you're not really wanting. So, you know. But, yeah, let me know what, what your thoughts on all that. And then uh, Noel Whelan's been talking in media. He makes me laugh, does Noel Whelan. I like him, but... Um, yeah, he said that we, he reckons we should sign Divock Origi. But I'm not into that. I don't know what you guys are saying. I know he's all right and he plays for Liverpool and he's never going to get in Liverpool side. But we'd probably pay over odds for him. I don't even think he'd get in our side, really. I'd rather have Lord Bamford up top. Um, he's all right, isn't he? It'd be, it'd be mint back up and stuff, but... He's not going to want to come to Leeds and sit on bench. He'd want to be like absolute guaranteed starting lineup. One, he's not going to leave Liverpool from the bench and then come to Leeds and sit on bench. So, I think that's an hard one. That's why I think the centre forward position's hard to fill as well, though, because you've, you know, you've got Bamford who is going to be playing up top every single week. So you can't just nobody's going to want to come knowing that they're, they're fighting for that. If it were Danny Ings or something, not that we'd be able to prize Danny Ings away because he's looking at. Champions League teams, not not us, but he would know that he's above the, in the pecking order. But with a Ari, with Origi, he's just not for me. He's just not as good as Bamford. He won't deliver what Bamford delivers. So, what are your thoughts on that? Just another quick shit vid. Uh, shout out to all everybody that's commenting, like saying nice stuff, man. Like I proper appreciate. It. Genuinely, like my channel's gone nuts past few days. So, I proper appreciate you, and I remember the day one as don't you worry about that. Nice one. Take it easy, I'll speak to you soon.